What's up, guys? To the channel. I haven't really said that in a long time because usually we're just uh, clipping things from stream. Not when it comes to our video form content. But I wanted to say um, a lot of people probably don't know about this game. I don't think they really had that much of an advertisement for it. And also it being on Steam, um, it's kind of just like out of the blue for a lot of people. It was for me, in all honesty, because I thought the only gotcha game that was coming out this month was One Punch Man, which is coming out on the 31st. Uh, we will be playing down the channel. It's by Crunchyroll. I'm not really expecting much from it. But that's not the point of this video. Um, Atelier. I honestly never got into Atelier. I'm uh, well aware of the series. Uh, I do play Ozzer Lane. I've been playing Ozzer Lane since launch. They had a collab with Ozzer Lane. And I know this series is really, really popular well, in like the RPG genre. I know they have like multiple titles like for years now so clearly right it's popular um in its own right and i've seen like a lot of like art on it on twitter some mods and stuff like that right and honestly this reroll system for this gacha game is actually amazing on top of like the, like, the graphics already look good in the game in my opinion um gameplay wise it's just like a typical like turn-based rpg game um so that was gonna be no different as you can see right here on the screen it's literally your first reroll you're summoning for cornelia and you just do the single summon you don't get her you just back out hit the menu delete your data delete the player data and that's basically you just go right back and then you reroll this literally takes about two minutes <laughs> two minutes per reroll and you know it sounds like it sounds amazing right like it's two minutes per reroll it's like how hard is it to reroll um by the way the picture in the bottom left it's because <laughs> um i just i saw that in the discord and the person got four ssrs and i was like yeah i need that I need that kind of look in my life right <laughs> um so yeah you basically just delete the player data you go back into the game as you can see right here and you just right go immediately right back into the same summit to try to get cornelia first and then you accept the pre-registration rewards you exchange it in the shop basically get two multis try to get ryza and another good uh three-star character and that's basically all you really have to do um when it comes to re-rolling but obviously the hard part is getting the combo of Cornelia and Ryza. It literally took me six hours. <laughs> I started streaming the game at 11.30. I didn't finish my rerolls until about 5.03, I believe. <laughs> so it was quite horrible. Um, apparently, all right, so here's the catch, right? I know like, I ramp it on, but here's the catch about it. You cannot use emulators <laughs> so it's so sad because this game literally has best roll function but you can't use the emulator if i used the emulator i would have been done rolling in an hour 100 percent 100 percent would have been done rolling in an hour's time i would have had eight emulators up <laughs> just re-rolling but it's it's only because it's on steam right so you download it on steam and then it's to your steam account right no one's no one's gonna buy an account for this game right like that's just dumb no one's buying a steam account off of someone for this game right like a lot of these people that would even play this game we're not gonna play the next week um i believe the only other way you can reroll multiple times is like if you make a virtual machine and then basically what a virtual machine is people that are not really into like the tech side of things you basically make a virtual machine and it's like different instances of your pc so you can literally open different steam accounts at once on your pc and play the same game at once so what a lot of people do to like you know maybe boost their accounts and like i don't know like boss or something like that uh virtual machines have always been around for certain games but that's literally the only other option you have. Um, the game is available on iOS and the App Store. So if you do have like multiple like Android phones or iPhones, you can just do the reroll that way. If you want to do it like one by one, I know some people will still do it the old fashioned way where they have multiple phones 
and have like tablets they all people on that but i went to this i'm like yo it's a gacha game it's on steam it's fine right and that the thing is right although you can't use the emulator honestly speaking the re-roll is like two minutes it's like you can like i want to like i want to cope and say like okay it's two minutes so i shouldn't really be that picky but it's it's still in the back of my mind like okay it's two minutes but what if i had six re-rolls at once right now <laughs> because like honestly speaking right we all know in other gacha games um the re-roll process takes at least what 20 minutes sometimes 30 minutes um, if you're lucky, games like Reverse or even uh, Black Clover, they're like 15 minutes. But so it's like when you kind of compare it to a regular gacha game and you compare it to how many rebels you can do on this game, it basically adds up. Like that's the only coping mechanism you can really do. Because <laughs> on Black Clover, right, you can reroll six accounts in 15 minutes. But on Atelier, right? You can re-roll, I believe, what is two minutes for a account? You can re-roll like seven or eight accounts in that same time frame. So technically, right, it's still better for the single instance depending on how fast you're going. <laughs> and I don't even I don't even know how many re-rolls I did. I absolutely did over a hundred. That's definitely true. There's no way I didn't do over a hundred re-rolls. Because if it's two minutes. I definitely did 30 within an hour, maybe even around 200 rolls. I have no idea, but I definitely kept going on and on. But you know, that's the real catch. It's the real catch about it. Um, besides that, I think Atelier. Um, I don't think the game is gonna blow up in any capacity. Um, I don't think that they're really even pushing for this game to blow up. I think it's just kind of one of those games where it feels like... It's kind of like one of these gacha games that like feel like a niche that feels like a like a turn-based RPG just with gacha elements. And the thing is, the game doesn't look bad. Like, the game might look crusty right here because it's from a screen recording, but if you were to actually play the game, like the game does not look bad. The game actually looks amazing and just looks like an updated graphical rpg game that you would play on console um there's uh there's gotcha pity so pity does carry over like uh engine there's the uh the shop the shop isn't really too difficult to understand um there is paid banners but then again you guys are really just gonna save for limited characters in this game Apparently, limited characters go into the shop afterwards, so you're always able to get them. So they're not even quote unquote really limited. They're pretty much accessible to everyone. And then you just reroll for Ryza on releasing, basically can clear all content. It's honestly just like a real casual game. If I'm being honest with you, the only real end game to this game, I believe right now, is like crafting gear because there is a gear system where you're able to craft gear. Um, so you're able to craft gear and put certain subsets on it. So that's basically just going to be the end of the game. There's no PvP in the game. So it's just pretty much like a chill PvE game. There is an invitation again. Uh, invitation event right now where you're able to get like a bunch of crystals. So honestly speaking, like, it's just really, really good. The Discord's really active like any other gotcha release. So I don't know. Maybe you guys can give it a try. Uh, just when it comes to reroll, if you're crazy like me, you know, you reroll that long. Honestly speaking, I would just take Ryza and then you're pretty much good from there. But yeah. If you guys do end up playing this game, hey, there's a lot of good assets to it, I promise to you.